Hello everyone, welcome to Roblox Studio making a game. These are the very basics, the very foundations of knowledge that's required to make your own game. This is where you first start off in Roblox Studio. I'm assuming you are a complete beginner learning how to use this platform. It's a great, powerful platform, great for making games, especially for beginners. As you can see, there's a lot of starter places here, an obby, line runner, even a capture the flag game mode, combat weapons, mansion of wonder. I don't know what that is, but it looks amazing. Even racing. What we're going to want to do is we're just going to go into a blank base plate. So if you click on base plate, this is what you get. This is what you see. And this is where I like to start most of my games. The base plate is this giant platform here it's all gray it's got grids on it and the first thing you want to do is kind of look around your world you can actually do that in the screen um, with your mouse right click and hold down and drag and I can see you can see it kind of turns the your perspective it kind of turns your head or your camera if you will and if you use WASD on your keyboard kind of like you used to you move in any Roblox game WASD kind of does the same thing and makes it so you can fly around your universe. Now, if you right click, hold down right click and drag at the same time and move with WASD, you can really maneuver around your world. You can even go through the base plate to the bottom. You can come back to the top. It gets really confusing if you get really lost. Q is down and E is up. And you can even use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. So if you scroll outwards, you zoom out. And if you scroll inwards, you zoom in. And it's very easy to kind of get around your world, zoom in, zoom out. So let's say I'm way out here. I can zoom in to get to the spawn plate very quickly. And this is what is considered a spawn plate. You can click on parts in your universe. So here's our first part. So if we left click it, you can see when we hover over it, a little hand shows up. So if we left click it, you can see over on the right hand side, the Explorer has popped up and you can see this is a spawn location. Also make sure up on the top, the home tab is selected. We're gonna go ahead and put down a brand new part into our universe and begin building our world because that is where you start to build video games. I'm gonna deselect this spawn location by left clicking somewhere in the sky or even on the base plate. So if you left click, kind of deselects, you can see it's no longer selected. And now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go up on the home tab here. That's what should be activated. And over here, you can see it says part. It's in between toolbox and UI. So go ahead and click on part. And you can see in your universe, something shows up. A brand new brick, a part shows up. You can actually hover over it, left click, hold it down and drag this part around anywhere you want it. You can also right click and hold and drag as well. You can move around with your part while you're hanging on to it. Now, if you let go of all of that, your part gets placed. There are three important tools to use when we're building our universe in the Roblox metaverse. If you're on the home tab, you can see the three tools are move, scale, and rotate. Now the move tool, put some arrows around your part in your universe and you can click and drag these arrows around and they will move your part in the axis that your arrows are located on. So these red arrows move it left and right, the blue arrows move it front and back, and the green arrows move it up and down. The scale tool has a similar interface except it is spheres. So when you click on scale, that's what shows up on your part. You can make your part wider or shorter. You can make your part longer or shorter. You can make your part even taller or shorter. The rotate tool kind of changes the UI there and it comes up with these rings and you can click and drag on these rings almost like a clock and you can rotate your part as such and you can see how easy that is. So now with these new tools in place, let's go ahead and build out our world. I think I just want to build sort of an entryway here. So what I'm going to do is my part selected there. I'm going to make sure it's on the move tool and I'm going to deselect all of that. Move right over here. Click on part over on the home tab and another part spawns in which I can move around now manipulate in my universe. And now I'm going to click part again. And so now we have 
three parts. And we are going to alter our universe now. So first, I'm going to use the scale tool to scale this down and make it taller. I'm gonna do the same thing to this part as well. So make it taller and just make it about the same height as that one. I'm going to line them up now, and then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to make it extra long so that way that could be sort of the top of my entryway here. I'm gonna show you a couple of extra tools here. Let's go ahead and move this beam up. You can see it is floating here. And now I wanna show you guys this. You can make parts go through parts. So this part can co coexist through those parts just like that. And now, let me drag that out. And now I could turn on, if I turn on collisions, over on the top here next to rotate, there's a little checkbox. If I turn on collisions, now I can no longer go through my parts and it brings me right up to the edge. So that's exactly what I want because I want to bring this part up to the top. Now also, if you mess something up and let's say your part ends up all the way over there or somewhere all the way over there, just use press Control Z and it will undo and move your part to the location that you had at last. So now let's put that archway down and now we have a little entryway let's go ahead and play our game and see if everything works so what we're going to do is we're going to click that play button up on the top on our home tab we'll click that play button and now we spawn into our universe and there is our little entryway and we'll just run through it and whoa what just happened there well i'll show you right now whenever you're building your universe Parts are not anchored by default. So what you want to do is you want to click on your part and over on the top, right next to the plate button, you click that anchor button. And now you can see it's kind of blacked out. Now I'm going to click on another part. I can see that it's not anchored. And I'll click on this part and see that it's not anchored. Now I'll click this part and they are all anchored. So let's click play again and take a look and see if our structure is structurally sound and now it will not move. That is what anchors do. They make your part not move. If you guys wanna see more tutorials and basics like this, please press the like button and subscribe if you found it helpful. This is just the start of the journey in Roblox Studio and making your own games and I'm telling you, it is worth it to learn. It's very fun. And once you get the hang of things, you'll be building universes in no time. Thanks for watching.